Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to Loop Learning and this is video number two of the series that I've just started, how to make payroll management system. If you haven't watched the first video, please do that because the in the first video I've explained what we are going to make in that video and how the end product will look like. Now, to make the uh, payroll management system, I'm going to have a very basic of everything basically so i'm not going to go in advanced mode with this application my idea is to complete this application and show you from start till end what is the process that's my idea and i don't want to make it uh, you know too long video series i want to make it as soon as possible and i want to show it to you in the video so i'll go with the basics of everything that you are looking at so we are going to create a few tables in this uh, video not all of these tables but half of these tables at least i will create in this video and then half of the rest i will create in the next video while with uh, creating the relationships as well so if you want to go along with me in this journey please make sure that you subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload a new video anyway so what are we are going to do well i'm going to create tables uh, like uh, employee profile locations department roles payment information we are going to create compensation management tables we are going to create earnings related table we are going to create the deductions related table and then at last but not the least we are going to create the finance uh, related table so this is what we are going to do and uh, that means i'm going to cover um, very basics as i said for each table and so i'm going to explain at the same time while i'm making the table i'm going to explain the purpose of the table why we need to have that table and and then we will proceed uh, to the uh, next levels okay so starting with creating tables i will start with the locations table then department role and then I will uh, start with making other tables. Now let's move on to the Microsoft Access. It's a blank slate. And so I would like to create a new table. And to create a new table, I go to the ribbon tab and I click on create uh, tab. And I click on table and I go here, right click design view. And I give a name of the table called locations that's the first table i want to create and every table must have the primary key and so location id would be the primary key for this table and the location name uh, would be added here i would also add the cost center yep every location has a cost center so that i will add um okay 25 field size is enough status i will add status here now as i said i'm going to go with the basics now if i'm developing a professional database application for the payroll management what i would do i would add more fields here for example i would add the country the the actual uh, city where the location is situated i would add the person in charge their contact information i would add other information uh, as well but since i said this is going to be a very basic so i'm going to keep basic my idea guys my idea of my videos is to give you the direction then you learn from my videos if if you learn something and then you adopt that and expand it further and make your own applications as better as possible that's the idea of my videos right so that's why i'm going to keep very very short very to the very basics i'm not to, not going to go in advance okay so we'll keep this information this will be enough for us at the moment then i will create another table called departments okay so i'll go to the create tab i'll create table and a table called departments okay 
so in here I'm going to add department ID I'm going to add a department okay now we'll keep the field size 200 and then I'm going to have cost center of this department right and again I'm going to have uh, let's keep 25 that would be enough so department ID department cost center and how about the location linking this table to the locations table so it is like a hierarchy each location will have departments and every department will have different roles and for each role there will be different employees you getting the hierarchy that's the idea okay so whenever we want to link one table to another table we want to use the primary key and secondary key now you're looking at location id this is a secondary key primary key is sitting right here in the locations table this is the primary key this is the secondary key sitting in a department's id and we will create a relationship to link these two two tables okay now that's why we need to have that okay and status again i'm not go going to go in advanced mode to make these tables so keep it very basic for us to be to make things easy and for me also and for you also to understand okay we'll make another table called roles so we'll go to the create tab table design view roles here we go and the primary key would be role id then what is the role name so let's make it 100 field size and then a department will link this to the department so we'll keep as department id every time we are going to link two tables we are going to use number field that's very important keep that in your mind and we will have status and let's reduce the field size to 25 so rules table is also created all right and now what we are going to do next is basically we are going to create next table called employee profile so i'll click on create table right click design view employee profile okay enter and here we go employee id so we are going to again gather the basic information such as employee name okay first we'll say what is the date this employee profile was created on so we'll keep the short date we'll take the employee name of course and let's keep it 100 field size then we will take the information such as father name we'll take the information such as mobile number of the employee we'll take the information such as personal email right uh, gmail outlook etc so we'll increase the character size here then we will have official email okay official email would be the email address issued by the company by the business if there is any option to do that okay then we will have which country this employee is from we will have this information as well and then we'll have information about city which city this employee is from as you can see very very basic information i'm collecting uh, we, are, we are not creating a human resource management system although this payroll management system is part of human resource management system but again this is a very basic form of the information we are going to collect and use to create payroll management system so please do your own stuff um, if you are building this application this kind of application for your own business make sure that you make any n number of fields whatever you wish to do so okay then next we would like to collect the we would like to have the information related to the company i mean we would like to know which to which location this employee 
is assigned to right and then I would like to know the department so we'll collect the we will assign this employee to a department then we will assign a role to this um, we will assign a role to this employee and then after assigning a role we will also assign the grade id as well now grade id is very important because grade id table grading structure table will include the rest of the uh, salary structure i'm going to explain that um, later uh, this is enough for me uh, or 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 username right we can collect username let's say to provide a login information mm, password let's make password 25 field size as well status so we'll keep 25 status field and update it all that's very important so we'll keep date and time and short it okay so that is done employee profile is done next thing we would like to have is payment information now of course we are talking about salary uh, uh, payment uh, information is mandatory when it comes to the payroll management system how we are going to pay to the uh, employee whether it is cash or whether it is bank transfer so mostly it's the ladder the bank transfer and that's why we need to capture the information such as account number bank name iban etc so we'll create another table and i'm going to copy the name here payment info and we will say create it on again so date and time we'll keep the short date and then we will have here the payment type and i would like to create a drop down and for that we will choose lookup wizard and we'll say cash and we'll say bank transfer now this is also very important for us to understand not all the people who are working in one organization may not have uh, the bank accounts so you can't transfer to them in the bank and so therefore the cash needs to be handed over to the employees as part of the salary although that is the old age stuff but still it hap it happens in some part of the world for sure okay and next we will have information uh, related to the employee how about linking this to the employee which for which employee we are capturing this information for okay let's move that at the top and if it is a bank transfer then we would like to know the bank name uh, we would like to know the account number let's keep it like 50 characters then we would like to know the iban number okay and we will have status short text and updated on okay that is done what happening what is that payment information is done for all of these tables are done now it's not it's not a hard and fast rule that this is what is required only maybe I have to add another table maybe I have to modify one of these tables so that's okay that's part of the process and uh, you are learning I'm learning we'll learn together and we'll uh, make this application together that's the idea now let's move on to the next module which is compens compensation management but first i would like to create grading structure so in grading structure you know the idea for the this table is to actually uh, keep record of each grade now each grade will have different set of salary packages right 
so for example let's say a grade b grade c grade some companies they have this mechanism some companies have a grading structure in numerical values such as grade 1 grade 2 grade 10 grade 11 etc some companies they have their own other way of measuring the grade so whatever it is but there is always a grading structure as far as i know and so we need to maintain the record of the grading structure we'll say grade id okay and then we'll say created on all right okay and then we'll say grade so which grade it is is it a grade b grade one grade two grade whatsoever the numbering numerical or alphabet or, or alphanumeric whatever the code uh, code they want to give to each grade uh, every company has their own way of doing it now whenever we are saying there is a grading structure that means there is a there is a specific uh, there are specific components of the salary uh, structure that are involved for each grading structure so for example um, this can be basic salary right so basic salary uh, whenever it comes to money we have to choose number type field and here we will choose a double format will be standard decimal places would be one and zero would be the default value now apart from basic we will have hra that is housing allowance uh, generally is considered then we will have uh, transportation allowance right and uh, then some companies give the journal allowance okay then some company may give the medical allowance every month uh, so it varies it varies company to company whatever uh, components of the salary structure uh, are in place so every company uses the different salary uh, components but for this application let's keep it simple let's keep it to these salary structures uh, these components only i know there are lots more and every company has as i said different way of uh, giving the salary to the employees medical and after that once we are done with all of that we'll say total salary okay so and this will be calculated field all right so calculated field that means we will calculate basic plus hra plus transport plus allowance plus medical so the addition of everything every single of these will become a total salary of course and then we'll say status okay let's keep it short to the 25 field size and then we'll have updated on date time and we'll have format as a short date right so grading structure is done this is the table which will hold the information about grade and each grade has a salary component and it will vary for example grade a would have let's say 1000 as a basic grade b will have 1200 as a basic so every grade has a different uh, set of uh, salary components and different salary for each component so that's why you can define each grade and you can define the uh, salary uh, the value for each component and then this grade links to to what employee uh, profile you remember there is a grade id here we go grade id here okay so grading structure is done now let's move on and let's create a compensation table now what do we mean by compensation tab table now this table will hold the salary for each individual so every individual whose status is active their salary information will be held in this table so every time we run a payroll we get the fixed salary so this becomes a fixed salary okay remember that 
so uh, we will change this to the compensation ID okay compensation ID and we'll say created on so we'll give a date time field there we go short date then here we will give employee ID remember this is this table is used to store the information related to the employee salary whatever is the existing salary this table is used to store that information okay so employee ID is the foreign key so therefore we will have to use number field then we will what we will do to key to keep your time save and mine we will um, get this information so for example i will have this exact information here in this table as well because remember these components remain same no matter which table we are going to go so either it is compensation table grading structure table these elements these components of the salary will remain same so just to save your time and my time i will copy that into this table as well the only addition in this table is employee id because we are going to link every record to each employee okay another table we are going to make is the compensation change table now what is the purpose of this table well this table will be used every time there is a change in the compensation with in the salary which mean for example if a company would like to promote someone therefore they will either give the salary increment or they just increase the salary or they change the grading structure entirely so in any of these uh, situation this table will be used to create a change in the salary now i can i may not be able to explain you right now because i i don't have forms in front of me but for sure when we are creating the forms for this table i'm going to give you the detailed information about it uh, but for now just keep that in mind that this will be uh, used as well so created on will take date and time short date would be the format then i'm going to get the employee id right and so in the using the employee id what are we going to do we are going to get the same uh, information for that employee okay all right so there we go so grade whatever is the grade basic salary hra now this this in this uh, particular table i'm not going to use short text i'm going to use as a number field because i'm going to link this with the grading structure table okay so if i have changed the uh, grade the entire basic hra transport allowance medical total salary will be changed accordingly okay so we'll uh, we'll have that and we might have to change this by the way this table some of the things we have to modify but for now this looks good only except one thing and that is i want to add change type here and i want to have this as a drop down list so every time there is a change happening we will record what change was that so was it salary increment or was it great change okay these two have different meaning so whatever change we are going to do in this table that will reflect in the compensation table so the compensation table will be changed automatically accordingly all right i hope that you are following me i hope following me i hope that you are learning something now we'll create bonus table which is going to be the last table of this video rest as i said i will be creating in in the next video so bonus so we'll say bonus id and created on right and in here 
we will say employee id oh, okay employee id all right let me have that because i want to add another field and that is bonus type okay and it will be a lookup wizard field so every time bonus is being paid we will differentiate what is the type of bonus is it monthly bonus is it annual bonus is it sales bonus some companies they do give sales bonus right so let me all right so we define the type of the bonus then we tell which employee go, going to get the bonus and then we are going to provide the amount of the bonus how much we are giving oh by the way before even we tell the amount we need to tell for which payroll we are payroll so we'll give a number field because we are going to link this field to the payroll so for uh, on which payroll we are going to give this bonus and uh, that is very very important and how much we are going to give and you know it will be a number field field size would be double standard would be format decimal points one and default value will be zero status will be short text so let's keep 25 field size updated on will be date and time all right so that is it so we have created almost half of the table the remaining tables we are going to create in next video and in next video we are going to create relationships as well so thank you very much for watching if you have watched till now um, do let me know in the comments below uh, if I'm missing something or if it is okay uh, whatever it is thank you very much and uh, I will see you in the next video until then take care bye bye